Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's video, I will be attempting to curl my lashes using a stick and fire. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina and I like to try all the weird and wonderful things in the beauty industry. Just like this eyelash curling technique that I'm gonna show you guys. So a few years ago, I visited Korea and got a K-pop makeover. This was when I had my crazy pink hair, which I kind of miss now, because I feel like this brown hair is a little bit boring, though I do not miss bleach. Anyway, so I got a makeover in Korea and my makeup artist, Noah, did this really weird technique to curl my lashes. This was my first time seeing anything like this, but she pretty much got out like a barbecue skewer, like a wooden stick. And then she got out a lighter and lit the stick up. Then she blew out the flame, of course, and then she used the stick to curl my lashes. Like what? Now in that makeover video, I did have false eyelashes on. So when she curled my lashes, it kind of blended in with the falsies. But today I'm gonna try the same technique, but just with my normal lashes and no falsies. So I did a little bit of research online to try to find out more information about this Korean makeup artist hack. I stumbled across this article by Naomi Nakmani who explains that even though there are so many heated eyelash curlers on the market, Korean women wanted something a little bit quicker, something that would help curl their straight lashes and this beauty trick developed and has been used amongst makeup artists in the industry. Now the benefit of using this method to curl your lashes is that it helps your lashes stay upright all day and it's super quick and easy to do if you do it correctly and safely. So there is a little tutorial here, I'm going to be following it. There's four things that you'll need. Your mascara, a wooden stick, I'm using a barbecue skewer, a lighter, and ironically, you'll still need an eyelash curler. This will actually give you the first curl that you'll need. So you'll curl your lashes, apply mascara, and you know when after you apply mascara, that's when your lashes tend to drop back down. That's when you'll use the heated wooden stick to bring your lashes back up and hold them into place all day. Mind you, this is the first time I'm trying this out myself. I hope I don't like burn myself because there is fire involved and it can be quite dangerous if you are not careful. So disclaimer, don't try this at home if you don't want to risk burning yourself. Just, just let me try it out first, okay? And we shall see. Fingers crossed I don't burn myself. The first thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes. This is the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. And let me show you how I curl my lashes to get like a nice C curl. So first I just place the curl at the base of my lashes and give it a quick squeeze. So that will help lift the lashes up, but it's kind of like angular right now. So I want it to kind of curve up like a C. So I kind of go back in, start at the base again, give it a squeeze and then kind of move outwards and angle my eyelash curler like this. So I kind of just like sweep it to the side a little bit on an angle. So again, so just clamp it at the base and then move it outwards on an angle. And that helps to curl straight lashes into more of a C shape. Then I'll go in and apply mascara. I'm using the Victoria Beckham um, Estee Lauder mascara. I like this one because it has a small brush. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes with this. Most of the time when I apply mascara, it does make my lashes drop so the curl doesn't hold as well. Okay, I think I'm ready to heat this stick up. I'm just going to run the flame through the stick. I don't think it necessarily has to catch on fire, but you just want to heat the stick up. Oh, it might caught on fire. Might do the end a little bit more then. I'm just going to wave it around for a bit because I know it's hot. It was freaking on fire. Okay, I think it cooled down too much. I need to heat it up again. Okay, yep, that's better. And now I'm just going to press this against my lashes and hold it. And slowly just bring it up. I actually think this is working. Okay, so I'm done with that. This is how my lashes are looking. I feel like it did work. It lifted my lashes back up. 
that was actually pretty easy and I didn't burn myself. I think you just need to check the temperature before you put anything near your eye and make sure it's not too hot. But I can see why like the Koreans like this trick. Not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to finish off this eye and then do a wear test and see if this curl actually lasts me all day. Here you can compare what my lashes look like after I apply mascara. So the curl has definitely dropped. And then this is what it looks like when I use the curling hack. So let me quickly do this side. Okay, so I'm done with both sides and I am really impressed with this technique. My lashes are curled and they look pretty good for these teeny tiny lashes. Who would have thought that heating up a wooden stick could help you curl your lashes? I wonder if this curl will last me the whole day. We shall see. I'm going to get ready to head out and then at the end of the day, I'll come back and show you guys if my lashes have moved, if they've dropped or if anything's happened. So I will give you an update. I am back to show you my lashes. It's the end of the day now. It's been about seven hours since I curled my lashes using the wooden stick. And surprisingly, they're still curled. Look at that. How good is that? They've actually stayed all day. Wow. Oh, I'm so shiny and oily. I'm cooking egg in my face. Honestly, at first I was a little bit scared to try out this technique because I was like, oh my God, what if I burn myself? What if I blind myself? What if something bad happens? But surprisingly, it wasn't that hard to do as long as you're careful and you check the temperature of the skewer and make sure it's not freaking burning. So I just used my finger to test out the temperature before putting it near my eye. And you don't want to like, have it touch your skin because it'll be really hot and sensitive around your eyelid, obviously. So you just want to run it across your lashes, not pressing too hard that it touches your lid. Looks like I'll be adding a wooden stick and a lighter to my makeup kit. Those Koreans are geniuses. Anyways, that is it from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do decide to try out this technique, please be extra careful because there is fire involved and I do not want you to burn yourself or your house down. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. That way you can stay updated with future videos that I post. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Ugh, I totally need a shower. I'm so sweaty.